Now back here with me now is Trudy. Good morning. And okay. this week we're looking at body lotions. We are. It sort of sounds like a boring topic, but it's not really. I really wanted the intro to this piece to be, it rubs the lotion on its skin. <laughs> Silence of the lambs. But I thought it's probably not exactly appropriate. Um, why do we need, well probably is actually, why do we need body lotion in winter when we're wearing lots of clothes? Well this is the reason, because you're actually layering on more clothes on your skin to keep yourself warm. You actually need to layer on more moisture to keep your skin protected. So it's the same thing really. Okay. Um, you don't notice dry skin though, like you do in summer and the winter you only notice that when you take your clothes off and you see that white little haze of <laughs> dust everywhere and you flake everywhere yeah you're flaky but really you do need to step up moisturizing also hot showers we turn the heat up in the shower because we're cold and um central heating electric mm. blankets you know it's heat really sitting that far away from the heater yeah. all of those things yeah uh, so does the skin on your body have a type in the same way your skin on your face has a type like oily or dry or? not not quite as obviously but then obviously people do get acne on their body um and they do tend to get a lot drier in summer and uh, sorry in winter and and with the tanning a lot more flaky and peeling in mm. summer so I think you do have a type um, which really you need to get a product that you like that's the most important thing a product you like to use will make you use it which means it actually mm. helps nourish the skin. And it feels good on your skin too yeah. so what would be better a cream or an oil? They're very different, but creams often start out with an oil base and then they're whipped into things like shea butter and emulsifiers which make them more cream-like, whereas an oil, I use an oil now, I used to always use cream but now I love oil because I love the way it sinks in really quickly, mm. you don't need very much, and oil, uh, plant oils have the same molecular structure as your skin, so it means that they actually really, your skin loves them, it has a great affinity with them so it just soaks them up. And if you get a good one that, that really sinks in and doesn't just sit on top of your it, skin. And it doesn't, that's the thing. You you, you know, you kind of have a little routine, like you have your shower, I always put body lotion and oils on when my skin is slightly damp, so have your shower, bath, whatever, cleanse and then, you know, towel dry and then apply your moisturiser. So what should you be looking for in a formulation? Something you'd like to use. I mean, really you want to choose something that you enjoy using. Um, I don't go for anything that's too perfumed. I think it's nice to have your fragrance and body lotion separate. Um, you can buy you know fragrance body lotions mm. with the fragrance that you love as well but I like something that's just simple that you put on that nourishes your skin and then you spray your fragrance on top the other thing is that it actually helps your fragrance last longer because if your skin is nourished your fragrance lasts longer if your skin is dry it doesn't should you be guided by price is it always like the more expensive the better um I'll probably get shot by saying this not necessarily, you know, these days there's, I mean I'm always banging on about technology, but these days there's some amazing formulations that you can buy in the supermarket that actually are incredible. Um, but then, you know, if you love a very luxurious oil that is probably mm. over $50, I say, you know, go for it. You only get one body, so you may as well look after it. You might as well look after That's it. That's right. So should we have a look at some of the products that you bought? And this is my favourite part. This Do I have is, enough body parts uh, that I can show that I can this, try these moisturisers out on? This is my favourite bit too. Look, let's start with Sebamed. Now, I wanted to just say that you'll... Your skin on your body is its most happiest when it sits at about 5.5, which is your acid and alkaline balance. Hang on, just sat on that knee. Um, most soap is around a 7 and 8, so it's quite alkaline, and mm -hmm. that's why your skin gets dry. So if you can team a body lotion, with, uh, sorry, a body wash with a body lotion, then you can keep your body at a really nice balance. Mm. And when your skin is balanced, it's got less chance of getting, you know, um, dryness or any irritation. So that is a great body moisturiser for somebody who wants to keep their skin at a nice even balance all the time. Goes in nicely as well. Um, Happy Organics, I mean what a cool name. Um, Happy Naturals, sorry. 100% organic argan oil. Argan oil has the most amazing effect on your skin. It's really nourishing. It's from a oh. nut, it's a um, Brazilian nut. Look, I'm like I feel like bad putting my finger in this no, one, but not that bad. No, and it's gorgeous, <laughs> and that's a really nice cream. You know, a lot of women love to just dip their hand in the cream and just rub it all over. It's just gorgeous. Your legs are going to look just My so legs are going to look amazing. They already do. <laughs> um, so that's a really right. lovely um, body cream that you can just use all over skin, mm. you know, um, body and legs. Now what about um, this? I wanted to bring this in. Um, I've gone really natural today, actually, which I'm pleased to say. This is Tan Organic. They do a beautiful self-tan range. 100% organic eco cert. That is a new oil that you can use in your hair, cuticles, and it actually helps prolong your tan. So if you're self tanning and your skin is really dry, that's why it goes patchy. It doesn't glide on really evenly. That's my problem. Always. Yeah, so yeah. if you double your self tan with an oil, it's really nourishing. This is a classic. You know, Clarins have been making body oils for, you know, centuries. 
well, not centuries, decades. Um, and they're 100 percent plant. That's a beautiful firming tonic oil for the body. Oh, um, yeah, it's probably it's the more, you know, one of the more expensive in the in the collection that I brought in today. But it's really gorgeous and nourishing and smells divine. We've talked about Avene a lot. The base to Trixera is their um, Thermo Water, which is in, found in a stream in France. Again, that's good for the whole family and face and body. So it's full of really lovely ceramides and nourishing ingredients that are very good for sensitive skin. Okay. Now I'm just already using this one because I'm familiar with this. So I wanted to talk a little bit about Pure Fiji's Hydrating body mist. A lot of people don't like the sticky feeling of a cream mm. or an oil. So Pure Fiji use the hydrosols, which are the extracts from distillation process of nuts and fruits. And they use those and they put them in a mist. So it's actually as nourishing as a lotion, but it dries really quickly. Just as moist, shall yeah, we say. Oh, it's true. good. That's, and smells delicious as it well. Does. What great things you brought in. Always fantastic. So where That's do we get now. all these from? All over the place. You can buy these in pharmacy, you can buy them at farmers, you can buy them, um, the Pure Fiji you can buy at About Face online. Um, that's the thing these days, you can buy all this online. So just get online and have a little search. Um, Beauty Garage NZ sell the 10 organic. So awesome. yeah, um, head over to the website and they'll be there. Thank you, Trudy. I love it when you come in and I do feel very moisturised. <laughs> uh, and if you want more beauty advice, you can head to Trudy's website, beautyeq.co.nz.